Hello everyone and welcome back to The Perfect French with Dylan. Today we are going to learn everything about les métiers, jobs. It's on chapter 4, page 45-49 if you have the book, and the exercises are 4.1 to 4.5. So today we are going to see four different things. We are going to see some general vocabulary, le vocabulaire général. You are going to see what I mean by that. Les métiers the verb and then a few adjectives. As usual, I will give you the page and the exercise number for each subject that we are going to see at the bottom of the screen. It's not going to be a complicated lesson at all. However, make sure that you remember the rules that we saw in the lesson number one about feminine and masculine. Today, it's all about this. I will come back on this when we see les métiers, but first, let's see the general vocabulary. Vocabulaire général. We have three different words to talk about a job in French. Un travail, un emploi, and un métier. Un travail, un emploi, un métier. In every job, you are going to have a boss. It can be you or it can be someone else. Un patron, une patronne. Un patron, Une patronne. And you can be un employé, une employée. Un employé, une employée. Or un apprenti, une apprentie. Un apprenti, une apprentie. So you see, for the two last one, the pronunciation doesn't change, but we do add a at the end. Chapter one, you remember? An internship in French is un stage. Un stage. Un Stage. A firm, une entreprise. Une entreprise. Those two are very interesting. An office, a desk. Un bureau. Un bureau. Same. But if you say, je suis au bureau, we all know that you're talking about the office. If you say, I'm sitting at my desk, je suis assis à mon bureau, we all know you're talking about your desk. Make sense? If you need vacation days, you are going to ask for les congés. Les congés. If unfortunately you fall into unemployment, you will ask for le chômage. Le chômage. So that's what you get every month if you're not working. Le chômage. Working condition. Les conditions de travail. Les conditions de travail. A career. Une Carrière. Une carrière. I was gonna say this one is easy to remember, but we only have lesson four, and I'm pretty sure you already have enough of me saying that this one is easy and this one is easy. So, I'm not gonna say it. Now, if we look at the contract, we have two different types of contract. We have un contrat à durée déterminée, un contrat à durée indéterminée. So a fixed term contract, so you can be there for three months, six months, or just for the period of Christmas, this type of thing. And then indeterminate is a long term. Until your boss or you decide that you're not a good fit or you want something else. A work contract, un contrat de travail. Un contrat de travail. A few more and some of them might surprise you. A résumé in French is un curriculum vitae. Un curriculum vitae. Un curriculum vitae. Also known as a CV. CV. A job interview. Un entretien d'embauche. Un entretien d'embauche. An interview in French is at the TV or with a journalist. It has nothing to do with work. Then regarding the number of hours that you were doing the week, we have un travail à mi-temps, un travail à temps plein. Un travail à mi-temps, un travail à temps plein. Une offre d'emploi, a job offer. Une offre d'emploi. You see how we use emploi, travail and métier. We use the three of them. Five more for the vocabulaire général. We have Un salaire. Un salaire. A salary. Un salaire. This one, un syndicat. 
un syndicat. French people are very big with this. Un syndicat. Overtime hours, les heures supplémentaires. Les heures supplémentaires. Can be shortened to les heures sup. Les heures sup. Les heures supplémentaires. Ok? Two more people related to work. We have un, une collègue. Un, une associée. Un, une collègue. Un, une associée. Let's see two sentences. Elle est allée à son cinquième entretien d'embauche ce matin. Elle est allée à son cinquième entretien d'embauche ce matin. Very important question to ask. Est-ce que les heures supplémentaires sont payées? Est-ce que les heures supplémentaires sont payées? They should always be paid. We are already at exercise 4.1. It's a little text where you have to use the vocabulary from the first list. Uh, there are some spots, I believe, where You can use a few words. You will see. Also, I always forget to say that, but don't forget to download the audio. The audio is available with each lesson, so all the list, all the exercises. It's very good for listening practice and also just for pronunciation in general. Now, the biggest point of the four, we have les métiers. Les métiers. So if you want to say he is, she is, we have two possibilities in French. We have il est, elle est, with no article after. Il est, elle est, or you can say, c'est un, c'est une. Here we do have the article. C'est un, c'est une. There is a long list in the book. I believe for this video I chose 25. I try to take a little bit of everything. So let's see. Oh, and as usual, because we are talking about people, I'm going to have masculine first and then feminine. Doesn't matter if it doesn't change. You will see that in a second. We're still seeing both. So for an architect, we say un architect, une architecte. Do you remember? She. Un architect, une architecte. Un assistant, une assistante. Un assistant, une assistante. Do you remember at the beginning of the lesson I talked about lesson one? Well, this is right here. It's going to come very handy right here. If you haven't watched lesson one, I highly recommend you to do so. I had to close the blind because the sun was just coming through. It was way too bright. All right, let's keep going. We have un avocat, une avocate. Un avocat, une avocate. Yes, like the avocado. Un banquier, une banquière. Un banquier, une banquière. Un boulanger, une boulangère. Un boulanger. Une boulangère, un caissier, une caissière. Un caissier, une caissière. Un chanteur, une chanteuse. Un chanteur, une chanteuse. If you follow me on my Instagram, I made a post about e u r e u s e today, yesterday. Un chirurgien, une chirurgienne. Un chirurgien, une chirurgienne. Un coiffeur, une coiffeuse. Un coiffeur, une coiffeuse. Un comptable, une comptable. Un comptable, une comptable. Un cuisinier, une cuisinière. Un cuisinier, une cuisinière. It's also very common to say un chef. Still have quite a few. Un dentiste, une dentiste. Un dentiste, une dentiste. Un docteur. Une docteur. Un docteur. Une docteur. Un étudiant. Une étudiante. Un étudiant. Une étudiante. Un facteur. Une factrice. Un facteur. Une factrice. Those two are very interesting. We have un homme au foyer. Une femme au foyer. Un homme au foyer. Une femme au foyer. Two more slides and we are done with jobs. We have un infirmier, une infirmière, un infirmier, une infirmière, un journaliste, une journaliste, un journaliste, une journaliste, un mécanicien, une mécanicienne, un mécanicien, une mécanicienne, un ouvrier, une ouvrière, un ouvrier, une ouvrière, 
elle, un pâtissier, une pâtissière. Un pâtissier, une pâtissière. Pastry chef. Un photographe, une photographe. Un policier, une policière. Un policier, une policière. Oui, un serveur, une serveuse. Un vendeur, une vendeuse. Un serveur, une serveuse. Un vendeur, une vendeuse. Exercise 4.2, 4.3. We have two more points to see. Les verbes and a few adjectives. For the verbs, we already saw the verb être, to be. Il est, elle est. This one is easy. Then we have devenir, to become. Devenir, to become. Embaucher, to hire. Embaucher, to hire. Do you remember un entretien d'embauche? Un entretien d'embauche, embauché. Ok? Quite important. Être payé. Être payé. If you're still a student, maybe this one is more useful for you. Étudier pour devenir. Étudier pour devenir. To apply for a job, it's called postuler. 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 Those two with se faire. Se faire embaucher. Se faire renvoyer. Se faire embaucher. Se faire renvoyer. And the last one we have. Vouloir devenir. Vouloir devenir. Like I said, I am going to make a video about se faire uh, after the vocabulary course. Three sentences. J'attends d'être payé pour pouvoir acheter un nouveau téléphone portable. J'attends d'être payé pour pouvoir acheter un nouveau téléphone portable. Tu devrais postuler pour ce travail. Tu devrais postuler pour ce travail. This one is very interesting. Il est à deux doigts de se faire renvoyer. Il est à deux doigts de se faire renvoyer. So, when in English you say getting close, in French we can say à deux doigts. Is a two finger to <laughs> get fired. I don't know why. Just how it is. It just means very close. Exercise 4.4. You have a little bit of translation here. Try to do your best if you're not very good at translating. Once again, the idea is not to get everything right. The idea is to use the vocabulary that you learn. Okay? To find the right word for the sentence, for the situation. Now, five adjectives. We have un travail dur, difficile. Un travail dur, difficile. Un travail dynamique. Un travail dynamique. Un travail passionnant. Un travail passionnant. Passionnant. But it could also be un travail ennuyant. Un travail ennuyant. And finally, une longue journée. Une longue journée. Do you remember why long is before the noun? Une longue journée. It's all in the grammar course. You can also just watch it on this channel. Let's see two sentences. Quel travail ennuyant. Quel travail ennuyant. What a boring job. Je cherche un travail dynamique. Je cherche un travail dynamique. Quick exercise about this one as well. Exercise 4.5, you have to find the right adjective. And that's it for today. Let me know in the comment section, what is your job? You say, je suis, and then your job. If you don't know, just write it in English and I will translate for you. And don't forget to subscribe, like this video, it really helps me. And I will see you on Friday, à vendredi.